Good morning. It is 8.51 a.m. on Thursday the 19th of September and it's time for today in my Bujo. That doesn't sound right, does it? Today in my Bujo. I think I might have to change the title to Today in my Boo Journal just because that's what Daryl calls it and it's just, you know, it sounds weird not hearing it. It really does. So, how are you? Are you all right? Did you join us in the live last night? It was, a, it was, it was, what, about three hours, I think it was. It went all right. Um, what did we do? We sewed a new book up, ready for next month. This is just going to be a planner. Okay, so this is just going to be these bits up until the end of the weeks. All of this stuff is going in a junk journal. So we sewed the book up. We, I did a little bit of Today My Boo Joke because I haven't done it for a couple of days. I've just been doing stuff. And we set up week 39. <clears throat> my son's going to be 28. My eldest son is going to be 28 years old next week. When the, does that happen? And I also had a play with a couple of dip pens that I've received. Um, made a bit of a mess. So I used a glass pen that was like my first sort of go with it and it was very good it took me a while to sort of rotating it to find the thin spot on it because there's like a thicker spot and a thin spot and um i've just looked at the flipping comment and i can't remember who left it hang on hang on hang on hang on <clears throat> um only merrin Thank you for your comment, darling. Um, says you can use a fine metal file to file down the broken end of your glass pen. Now I'm assuming you're talking about the the other end. That end actually doesn't bother me, it's fine. But I'm wondering if I can do that with the nib. You know, maybe get a, a rounded file, but then will the ink flow down the groovy bits? It was interesting to use this and to find out how it was, and I want to use it more because you can write shitloads with it because the ink is held in the little grooves there. It's a really clever design. It works much, much better than a regular dip pen. But I also know that I'm using a regular dip pen wrong. Or, or I, I am if I want to do it for calligraphy. Um, you're supposed to use a brush and take your ink off of a brush for a regular dip pen, not out of the pot, which is what I've been doing. So yeah, so I had a play with that and it was okay, but it does write thicker than I'm used to which is why I quite like this is when I this is where I got the glass pen in the right place because you know I like extra fine pens so yeah we did that then I had a play with some fabric and some cardboard to make the cover of my junk journal now I don't think Wendy's watched my live cause she she was busy last night unfortunately so we wong it yes wong it is a term we wong it guys and girls um this is my fabric it's slightly stretchy that way but not that way and a piece of card off of the box that I plan to use. Now, <clears throat> I used Aileen's tacky glue and I squished it on and I didn't smooth and I just plonked the fabric on. I then found that I couldn't use the bone folder because whenever I tried, it pulled the fabric. <clears throat> so how's it dried? It's a bit hard to show you, it's lumpy. There are spots under the, which is I assume, the pools of glue, yeah? So, I mean, I can squish it, it's not pleasant. So this morning, literally not even half an hour ago, I put some glue on the other side and I used a brush, uh, not a brush, a sponge to spread the glue. That's gone down perfectly and it's already dry. That took all night to dry, but even like where I haven't covered it has dried off and it is stuck really, really well. So that is obviously the route I'm gonna go. You can't see the design of the box through it, so my junk journal for 2019 my very very first junk journal is going to be covered in this so i'm quite excited about that i just need to find time to do it hopefully tomorrow i will get time to do it cup of tea no oh, i haven't got my poppins muggets in the dishwasher oh dear right so let's quickly catch up i haven't got much to do because you know i haven't actually done much so last night did I do the garden yesterday? I can't remember. I didn't like care, I know that much. 
I was a bit annoyed though because I'd ordered one of those frame punch boards that make little photo frames and I was gonna like open that yesterday on air and I just had trouble with the post it got sent to the wrong delivery office and the stupid thing is um, that delivery office is like five miles from my house well instead of just getting somebody to drop it over along with any other post that's gone to the wrong delivery office they send it back to Southampton that's on the mainland so my my parcel went from being on the island to on the mainland at two o'clock this morning to come back to the island today talk about what a waste of fucking postage I'm just like why could you just not you know fuck if you'd rung me I'd have gone and picked it up I was out in my car yesterday I would have quite happily gone and picked it up and it took me like all fucking day just to get that response off of Royal Mail because they notified me at 11 o'clock that it had gone to the right post office and what the website said all of that day was we have we rerouted it immediately and we're doing our best to get it to you so I thought fine it'll turn up today it was six o'clock after an hour and a half of nagging them on Twitter and trying to get through to right post office to be told oh no we don't send from one delivery office to another it's got to go back to like the distribution office so I was like okay so where's the distribution office I was in Southampton you what as you are having a laugh aren't you so why the fuck don't you just send it through to Zandan I'm sure some of your posties live in this area you know just drop it through my bloody door no we can't do that missus fucking idiots would be horrified if they'd bothered to tell me i would have just gone and got it no no foul you know i wouldn't have moaned i wouldn't have complained i'd have just said you know what i can get it that's fine but no that, that didn't happen so yesterday i sewed my a5 book um i went to see maggie a couple of days ago so that's fine i'm going down there again today to sort through some stuart stuff where are we now? We're Thursday, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I set up the weekend last night, or this morning I think it actually was, but whatever. Oh dear me, right. My daughter's sofa is coming today, so I think I will mark that in here. I'm just waiting for them to ring me actually. Sally, you're going to be there's our delivery um, we've just bought my daughter a sofa bed she lives in one room down at the big house and um, she's got quite a lot of stuff and it was just like you know what this might be a better idea if we just do this <laughs> so that's what we've done okay so I need to do a little bit of journaling just to catch up So what I'm going to do is, being as I'm on this page, I'm going to add in 19. That went a bit cockeyed, didn't it? Right, weather. Start getting set up for October soon. Bats and halloween -y, I think. I'll probably decorate that, actually, as I do. Mainly because I think Halloween's a giggle. I don't participate in Halloween. I've been to one fancy dress party in my entire life and I went as a gothic wench <laughs> with Stuart. And we didn't really go to a party, we just went out and about, you know. Um, and um, and that's it really. I don't normally bother. I don't do trick or treating. I turn, on the turn all the lights off and hide inside. I've never taken my children trick or treating. Personally don't agree with that. I think it's dreadful concept but there you go what do I know I know there are going to be people out there oh you never took your kids to go no I didn't they went with friends and that as they got older but I personally have never taken them I know Callie wants to take Daryl trick-or-treat in and I just sort of mumble every time she says about it <laughs> I must ditch that pen and get another one. 
Right, um, I'm not going to go through the um, collections because I haven't actually done anything. Um, I've cleaned the loo and that's, that's about it. So I'll come on and do those later, okay? Um, that's it for now. Um, yeah, have a fantastic day and I'll see you tonight in the evening edition. Take it easy, guys. Bye. I don't feel very well. I seem to have caught Daryl's cold. Ugh. It's been a really long, horrible day. Really long, really horrible. I haven't enjoyed it at all. Um, I went down to Maggie's and sorted through a load of Stuart stuff. That's just so much. Um, then I picked Daryl up and he'd fallen over at school he's with both knees and the palm of his hand so he's basically walking around like this because he's refusing to use the hand <sighs> thankfully he's left-handed so the fact that he's done his right hand is not a huge thing but you know it is, is he's feeling very sorry for himself and he's been coughing for a week now which is not unusual during term time but it does make things a bit uh <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it was just like uh and then i had um one of the people in my Fitbit team has just announced to me that she's leaving this weekend. She wants to go to another team. And I know I'm not supposed to, but I always take it personally. I always feel like, you know, why? What have I done? Why are you leaving? You know, my bad captain and all of that lot. Um, and it was made even worse because I'm the one in the main group that basically does the admin for who goes into what team. You know, I keep an eye on which teams are the smallest and when we get new people or transfers, they go to the smallest teams. But I was not told about this until the last minute. And I was like, well, hang on a minute. You know, she told me and I went into the chat with all the other captains and I said, oh, you know, Sheila, you've got the smallest team. Um, I've got a transfer. Would you like to have her? And she went, oh, yes, yeah, Stephanie's setting up a chat with us later. And I'm like, excuse me, hang on a minute. So I felt really fucking pissed off and undervalued on that to be perfectly honest <sighs> so it just set the mood really my throat now hurts my nose is starting to run right I did day face cream I did challenges I did my makeup today for the first time in absolute ages <sighs> Booze and cat, yeah. Had chips. Did a little bit, I suppose. Did some paper. I need to do an about today. Don't think I did one for yesterday. Oh, I did the garden this morning. So I just feel crappy and pissed off. There's a couple of other things as well, but. I didn't do that. I just went offline this morning. It was just like, you know, oh, all of a sudden I was just like, I just don't want to do this. I just want to go. So I went and didn't do anything and now it's too late. So yeah, my mood is back down there. I was quite surprised actually because Daryl came out with an injury sheet. He's not had one before. Um... Doesn't say date and time on it, you know. He's had an abrasion. They cleaned the area. And it's Mrs. Stevens that did it. That's kind of like, well, uh, okay. So I don't know how, what time today it happened. There's no date written on here. So I'm a bit pissed off. I mean, I know it happened today because Daryl told me it did, but he doesn't know times yet, so he's not going to be able to say, yes, I did it at such and such a time, Mum. So I'm a bit cross, really. And he's been coming home since day one with bruises and bumps all over his legs and that. Because boys being boys, you know, they kick and all that crap. Um, and they've never bothered with one. And now they finally do, and it's fucking shit. So let's leave about half past twelve. Go up just before seven. And another little brief trip to the toilet. But I slept quite well. I'm finding everything exhausting, you know, I feel constantly tired, pissed off 
about everything today. Yesterday, it was 19,237, 8.09 miles. So I did the loo and the laundry. The bathroom's been cleaned. The dishwasher has been on. I realised earlier I'd forgotten to mark them. The sofa bed came, I've not seen it. Stop bothered to send me a photograph. Because of course you wouldn't do, would she? Um, I realised after I'd gone off air that I coloured in the day with yesterday's pen because I still had yesterday's pen out, I hadn't put it away. So I redid it, that was a thing from yesterday, they're doing this course up school that I joined in um, and you have to write your note and I, I earned myself a yestica. So I, yeah, I just did the thing now, I figured it doesn't really matter. Oh, I think that's about it really, isn't it? I'm really tired, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm literally going to do this and I'm going to bed. It's not even 9pm, it's 8.47pm now. My throat... <coughs> My throat feels like... Like I've swallowed something prickly, like a thistle. And it's just... It, uh, so I guess I'm going to have to get some throat, throat sweets tomorrow. Lovely. So I could go to bed. There's loads of things I want to do. I want to decorate this book like I did this. So let's write a to-do list for the weekend. Oh gosh. To do. Okay. Decorate new TN insert. Chunk journal. Cover. Do a video on my new frame punch board which I haven't opened. It's sitting here, all not opened. Look, I want to play with it, but I figure something about that size should be ideal. Uh, a little bit smaller, it would have to be for um, sprocket pictures, you know. I want to be able to put frames on some of the sprocket pictures just because I think it would look nice, especially in the junk journal where bulk isn't going to be so much of an issue. And I'm not using Tomway River paper in the junk journal I'm using regular copy paper so it's going to be slightly thicker so hopefully it won't be too much of a of a problem so yeah but this is looking this is looking good that's my pocket from the other day so this journal goes from there to there now <laughs> getting a fatty way well, it is a fatty I mean, look at it. even when I squeeze it, it's still a fatty. I love it. I must admit, I really do love it. I don't know whether I'm going to like junk journaling. I love the idea of it, but am I actually going to like doing it? I don't know. This is why I'm trying it. This is why I'm only trying it for a couple of months. And then if I like it, great. If I don't, then next year I will make a couple of um, books. I'll make one to be my planner and one to be my journal. And I'll just do it like that instead. But you don't know until you try, do you? There you go. Okay, I'm going to go and get on with it. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave us a comment down below. We like to see comments and kisses when we wake up in the morning. It's great. It makes us both feel really happy for the start of the day. And um, I'll see you in Friday's edition of today in my boo journal. See you later, guys.